Hey everyone, this is Kat. Um, I feel like it's time to release the story that God had me write a bit ago. He led me in writing this, so it's time to finally release that to my channel. I hope everybody enjoys it. A small kitten approached some letters, curious about them. She looked the letters over, then began to pass them out. But before she got very far, in, a voice said, Beware of Chanel and Brandt. She looked up and saw a human woman in her twenties. The kitten glanced at the letters she'd been passing around. A slithering snake was laying on top of them. She glanced at the snake and saw an older cat consorting with it. You gave the letters to Chanel? That I did, the snake hissed out. I'll definitely warn everyone about them, said the cat as she ran out of the room. Twinkles felt puzzled as she watched lines form around the serpent, as it again said, I gave the letters to Chanel. Why was everybody listening to the serpent? It was odd. Soon came Twinkles' turn to approach. I give the letters to Chanel, it hissed again. But Twinkles didn't buy it. Why are you lying to everybody? She asked, with curiosity in her voice and a bit of sarcasm. God told me he gave Chanel those letters. The snake let out a hiss and struck at the little black kitten who had a white star on her forehead. Twinkles drummed back a little ways. That one professes a different gospel, it hissed. Get her. Many folks from different backgrounds all came at the kitten, each with weapons of their own as they attacked her. You're not getting away with this, said Twinkles as she let out a swipe with her claws. Meanwhile, others tried to drag her away from the serpent. Why are you attacking that? asked one. Yeah, it even told us what it did, said another. Twinkle squirmed her way out of their reach and pounced on the serpent, and soon the two tumbled on the floor. Twinkle's was claws extended, threateningly. The snake held Twinkle's in a tight coil. You won't win, it spat at her. You'll never win. Twinkle's heart sank. How could she win? No one else would stand with her, after all. Suddenly, from behind, an angel appeared and dragged the snake away from the kitten. Twinkles watched as the snake came back to serious damage from the angel's attack, but it still refused to let go of Chanel's letters. You think that attack can stop me? It said in a hiss. I can't be stopped. The angel went towards Twinkles and picked her up in his hands. You'll be okay, he said in a gentle voice. So will Chanel and Brandt at the end of all of this. Twinkles glanced up at the angel, though she had taken quite the beating. She felt warmth and safety for a moment. You did a good job, Twinkles, he said, stroking her fur. I'll help you take care of that. He motioned toward the serpent. A serpent gulped and began to slither away quickly, with its coils still around the letters. It will be beaten back in due time, said the angel. But right now, it's best you wait on the Lord again. By the way, I have something for you. The kitten looked up, curious to see what it was. In his hands were a blue collar, and on the tag it said, I'm Twinkles, I belong to God. The angel gently placed it around Twinkles' neck. Never forget who you belong to, he said with a smile on his face. If you ever feel like the entire world is against you, Jesus will always be there with you. Twinkles started purring happily as the angel disappeared. Everything would all be over soon. The serpent would be defeated when it was God's divine timing. And most importantly, Chanel and Brant would be okay. She glanced over at the older cats following, and it had gotten smaller. How interesting. The kitten watched the serpent slither off into the distance and disappear further into the Mandela Effect community to speak with more people. The snake had a large following, to be sure. How was it deceiving so many? She sighed in frustration. The battle had only just begun.